First of all, Home Instead Senior Care. We provide, as I said a few minutes ago, non-medical in-home caregiver support for seniors to help them maintain their independence. So what exactly does that mean as far as that non-medical in-home care? Um, as you all know, there's various levels of care. Home Instead steps in when home health care may not exactly be appropriate anymore. Possibly someone has met their plateaus with home health, um, no longer qualifying for skilled care under PT, OT, or speech therapy services. Um, or we can supplement those services as well when someone does need the additional caregiver support in the home. We have found, however, that we, all, we do absolutely help someone when the, their skilled benefit has been maximized, but we also come into play simply when someone is just needing additional support. Um, it could be respite care for the caregiver or just simply helping out the senior to make sure that they have their day maximized for their support to maintain their independence. Whether it's getting up in the morning, helping with some bathing and dressing, or helping them in the evening get to bed, um, or even transitioning during the day, um, transportation services, accompanying to medical appointments, um, anything of that, of that um, whatever their day looks like is how we can help. We also want to say that in home caregiver support, home can be wherever home is for that person. Um, believe it or not, actually one third of our business is with, with individuals that are not in their home, in the community home. We also provide support in assisted livings as well as support in nursing homes. Um, if you think about it, just because mom or dad goes into an assisted living, that doesn't mean mom and dad no longer have to get to medical appointments or no longer have to get out in the community or possibly have groceries brought into them. Um, or just the fact that mom and dad might have some behavior issues in a facility and might have some caregiver support to help maintain those behaviors and maintain that safe environment in that facility. Whatever it might be to help that individual is where a caregiver support might come into play. Um, we have great brochures right over here on the table not on, that lists all of our services, but our services do range from personal care all the way up to companionship and homemaker tasks. So if someone does need assistance with the bathing, the dressing, getting up in the morning, um, toileting, whatever this, that personal care need might be, we can certainly help with that. Um, all the way up to companionship and homemaker tasks, light housekeeping, cooking. Um, preparing meals for the week, sticking some casseroles in the freezer, whatever the situation might be, we can step in there for that. I will add to um, our mission at Home Instead is to enhance the lives of aging adults and their families. And right there, to enhance is where I really believe Home Instead can set ourselves apart and make ourselves unique to our community. We are there to enhance the life of that individual, to enhance their day. We try very hard and take great pride in recruiting excellent caregivers to build a rapport with the individual. We're there for the care. We, we will try to be the very best at the care, but we want to take it a step further to enhance the relationships to make this a win-win and great situation for all involved. When you have a good rapport and a good relationship with the person you're caring for, it's going to show in every way. From that person's happiness in that day, even if it's a second or a minute of joy for them, all the way to their caregiver and their family knowing this is a good situation. This is a good relationship and we're very happy with that. It's going to be less stress for everyone. So how do we do that to enhance a day? One simple way right here that I wanted to share with you all is what Homan said calls the life journal. This is a very great tool that we can put, we will put into the homes of the, of the client. I'm going to pass one around so you all can take a look at it while I hold one as well. This life journal our, our caregivers, when they go into the home of a client, they can use this to jot down little things that that client might say during the day about snapshots of their life, their likes, their family, their adult lives, their dislikes, whatever it might be. Jot those things down, special memories, whatever. I like to have pumpkin bread on Thanksgiving morning before we have pumpkin pie. Jot it down. How great is that for the next caregiver or person that comes in that transitions, you know, that works with that person? Wow, she likes pumpkin pie. Maybe we should make that our next visit. Or wow, maybe the smell of a pumpkin um, candle might, might make her day for a little bit, you know, whatever it might be. Then also, what a great keepsake this would be for the family of having mom and dad memories right here in this life journal. So just one little example of how we try to enhance their lives, enhance the lives of family. Enhancing the lives of aging adults and their families. 
it's kind of like a family medical practitioner. We don't just treat the symptom, we're treating the whole person, it's kind of how I like to see it. We're there to, yes, take care of that person and make sure their needs are met. However, we're there to treat the whole person and the whole family as well. We try to provide great literature on whatever the literature might be called for, but Home Instead has a lot of resources for the family and for our community. So for example, some of our most popular, the 40-70 rule. When the adult child is turning 40 and the parent is turning 70, it's time to have those conversations. And these are the conversations you might want to think about. The 50-50 rule for siblings. You know, we have one, we have a family of 10. One person ends up doing all the work while the other nine are not really doing as much. Um, that's the 50-50 sibling rule. So we have literature to help walk families through that, truly trying to make sure all needs are met. Then also for our community, great resources, staging of senior, stages of senior care, very, very broad resource that's excellent for wherever a person might be in their stages. That's um, an excellent resource that we can try to get to churches, to businesses, to medical offices, whatever it might be, also available. I'll just pass this around too, just for, just for the kicks of it. So that's a little snapshot of Home Instead um, overall. We, I, I really do try to, to think of it as us taking care of the client, taking care of the family, and reaching out and being a better place for our community as well um, in all realms. So if, if we can help in any of those ways, please let me know.